Welcome in, uh, everyone, to Troy, Alabama. We are at Riddle Pace Field getting ready for the first game of the game set between Troy and Kent State. I'm Jerry Miller along with my broadcast partner tonight, Ryan McCullough. And we are glad. Had a tough start. He just said one for 20, but he's a guy that's going to come around. Stays alive here. Swings and misses. He uh, hustles down. I think he got a piece of that. I think that'll be a foul ball. He'll have to come back, I do believe. Ball State, they beat Ball State, beat him twice. Swing and a miss. Gainus gets the second strike out of the inning, but the first batter to actually be retired. Williams, or excuse me, Casey to pull that ball with Tremaine Cobb on the first base side of second. Big strikeout right there, though, Jerry Miller. Gainus, base percentage are finding a way on, and then guys are finding a way to get them in. It's a good slider, or changeup, I should say, to even it up on Kavanaugh. He puts this one in play. That's deep to right. That'll be over the right fielder's head. Casey off the wall. Kavanaugh motoring to second. He'll slide in head first with a one-out double, and the Trojans have the tying run aboard. The fastball, and that's holding true. Likes to use a slider and also mix in the curveball and the changeup as that ball's tattooed to the gap, Jerry. That is left up. That's high off the scoreboard. Troy's going to tie it up on back-to-back -back doubles. Will Butcher just continues to mash the baseball. Roebuck made a mistake there, left it up. Strikes. If you're Skyler Mead, you really got to like what you see so far from, from Garrett Gaines. We've mentioned it numerous times on the comeback trail, getting back into that starting rotation, and we get a, as Skyler likes to say, a punchy on a really good fastball on the outside portion of the plate. Yeah, the, the low gets a ground ball to the right of Kavanaugh. He will get a glove on it but not able to knock it down. They'll send the runner. Cobb picks up the camera. He'll throw home, wow. and he is out. A great reach from Brooks. Likes to work off it. With that fast um, fastball changeup, you got good fastball changeup command. You'll strike a lot of guys out. You don't need four or five pitches. Swing and a miss. You called it. That's the off-speed pitch there that fell out of the zone. That looked like the change, and he gets him to swing and work the changeup. That's been his get-out pitch. If you're Casey there, you got to be sitting changeup, right? Got a base open, so he doesn't have to come fastball. He does though, and gets him on the inside. So Butcher with. Guess what? Another RBI opportunity. He's got to work out of a one-two hole. He drills this one into left out of one hop to the left fielder. It's hit so hard that Kavanaugh will have to check it third. Well played by Tim. And a really, really good ball player. One won the count. That's hit hard. That'll sneak through the right side. He's got another RBI on the CNI ground ball. Didn't hit. Being the DH uh, for this Troy team. When he's hitting, what I'm saying, he goes the other way as good as anybody I've seen. But he's become a little more of a pull hitter. He pulls this one through the right side. Let's see if they wave the runner. Coach Walgamott is going to wave him. The throw will come to the plate. We'll have a play, and he is safe. That's a great slide by the runner, Will Butcher. He go He's not going. The 2-2 pitch bounces his way, and that'll move the runners up. Another run will score. Brian will easily score on the wild pitch, and the Trojans take a 5-1 lead here in the bottom of the third inning. A lot, of, a lot of coaches will tell you that anything you get from the catcher offensively is just icing on the cake. Your job is to be a receiver of the baseball and block them up. And Brian showed a great job and great receiving of the baseball right there. Freezes Connor Ashby. Right in it at the knees, it stays at the knees. What a play by Kavanaugh there. He feels that one and throws uh, the lead run. Fastball, but the... Uh, the coaches think his slider is the best pitch. Says it's got that gyro spin. Uh, we asked him about that uh, the other night. I'm still not sure I know what it is. Whatever it is, he gets a swing and a miss here. He just comes in and he's, I mean, I think the, the, the word that a lot of people use is Jake Casey in the box. Luke Lyon on the bump. Big swing and he said he went. Hit on a line over there. Gilroy dives to his left, makes a great play. As Jerry Miller likes to say all the time, hang a star by that one, Aiden Gilroy. Half of the seventh inning. Runner goes, swing and a miss. Brian's throw down is a one hopper, and it is in time. A great play on the back end of that by Evan Jackson for the second out. One, two is the count after that was a strike. Swing and a miss, and Lyon comes back and gets the third out on a K. 
you know, 12 and a third scoreless innings to start his year. This one's inside the third base bag, knocked down by Jackson. He'll have no chance. He saved an extra base there as that was headed for the corner just inside the area. Swings and misses at the high hard one. That's inside. He had no chance there. And uh, Noah Manning, they call him the ringer. He gets the uh, ringing of the bell there. Go to back up the middle. Tremaine Cobb had him shaded toward the right side. He'll throw a low ball over to Butcher. He digs it out. He's called out, and that'll end it. This one will belong. An exclusive broadcast of the ESPN Sports Network.